my name is Maisie K. My new single, Emotionally Unavailable, is out now. Please stream it. And these are five tracks that inspired me. Oh, how do I pick just five? So the number one track that inspired me is probably my favorite track of all time, and it's called Experience by Ludovico Einaudi. I might be butchering his name. I'm sorry if I am. It recently just went viral on TikTok, which is very well deserved, but I first heard it in either 2014 or 2015. It's a purely instrumental track, mainly pianos, violins, and a bit of percussion. And it is hands down the most beautiful piece of music I've ever heard in my life. I find myself going back to it at least on a weekly basis and it has inspired countless things that I've worked on. So if you haven't heard it, please check it out. The second track that really inspired me is Adele's Rolling in the Deep. And I know it might sound like a basic choice, but it was the first time as a kid that I really saw pop music that hit the radio and was upbeat that still had a lot of meaning and value in the lyrics. And that's something I've always really wanted to try and accomplish within my own music. Sometimes I'm guilty of getting stuck in sad ballad land. So I always sort of keep that track in the back of my mind as a reference that you can do a meaningful song and still have it be upbeat and fun sounding and you want to blast it on the radio. It doesn't just have to be sad. The third track that inspired me is When by Dodie. I love the live version of this song. I think it's absolutely beautiful and it says a lot really about the sadness of growing up and losing childhood and losing innocence and sort of feeling like you're not doing life right, which is something I feel like a lot of us really struggle with. There's a line in it that says, I'll take what I can get because I'm too damp for a spark, kissing sickly sweet guys because they say they like my eyes, but they, I only ever see them in the dark. I think that's a really, really poignant, poignant line to say that people don't really see who you are or know who you are, and maybe you don't even know who you are. I think growing up, that really meant a lot to sort of know that she empathized with my struggle and I would listen to that song every time I needed to cry. The fourth track that really inspired me was Someone You Love by Lewis Capaldi. Um, I think for a long time, music on the radio was very electronic and that's fine, but as someone that really sort of wanted to eventually be more of a songwriter, a ballad writer, Someone You Loved really excited me because it was the first time really since Adele that I've seen a new artist make it to radio with that same art of storytelling and simplistic instrumentation, which is ultimately what I hope to achieve. So I think that sort of always gives me a boost of optimism to be like, that music is still, still working. This man has built an incredible career off of doing that exact thing. And hopefully one day I can too. And the final track that inspired me is Kesha's Praying. Now, funnily enough, Kesha was actually the first pop artist I ever heard when I went to high school, when I was 10. Before that, it was literally all musical theater and like Celine Dion, Queen Barbara Streisand. First pop song I ever heard was TikTok. And I was like, what is happening? Um, when Praying came out, I absolutely lost my mind. I think I was bawling. I was playing it on repeat. I listened to that song every day for months, months. I mean, it's an incredible song and I think what she's done as a person and as an artist are both incredibly powerful and incredibly inspiring. The lyrics about sort of saying, you know, I had to learn how to fight for myself and there's no malice in the song. There's a lot of pain in the song and there's a lot of healing in the song, but she manages to convey all this, this dual theme of pain and power without actually ever saying anything aggressive. She's managed to heal herself through her art and I think that is the most wonderful thing anyone can do.